Hey friends, I hope you're ready for tons of cleaning motivation today because today's video is a whole house clean with me and I'm taking you along with me. I needed to get my entire house back in order so I'm cleaning it top to bottom. Give this video a thumbs up if you're ready to get motivated. Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. We are going to be doing a ton of cleaning. My entire house is a disaster, which I'll show you guys in just a second, but it's a complete mess. And it is Thanksgiving break, so my kids are out of school, but they're actually hanging out with friends today. So I'm trying to get as much as I can done while there's nobody in the house, there's no distractions, there's nobody to mess up right after I clean right behind me. <laughs> So, I'm going to be getting lots of cleaning done. I'm wearing my Merry and Bright sweatshirt that I made in my last video. If you didn't see that, go check it out. I did some Christmas DIYs, which was this little sweatshirt, a fun Christmas cup, and then I also did some Christmas gift DIYs in case you want to check that out. So, go watch that video if you haven't seen it yet. But, lots of cleaning to do, so I'm going to stop rambling and we're going to get some cleaning done. All right, you guys, we are starting the cleaning downstairs today. And the very first thing that I always do whenever I have a big mess like this is I go around and I put all of the clutter away. Most of this stuff doesn't belong here in the kitchen, but we like to just throw things in this area when we walk in the door. And I feel like the clutter is what keeps most of us from getting started with cleaning is we look at this huge mess and we get overwhelmed. But a good tip is to set yourself a timer and try to beat the clock, putting away all of the things, and I bet you'll get motivated and want to keep going, at least for me. Once the clutter is put away, I actually feel like I get a ton of energy and want to start doing the actual cleaning. So if you're not motivated today, watch this video. Hopefully this will help you get at least a little bit motivated <laughs> and then try the trick set your timer see what you can get done in that amount of time starting with the clutter first let me know if this works for you All right, so I love running my dishwasher at night. Sometimes I forget to start it, but I love to do this at night because then first thing in the morning, I can unload my dishes and then any dishes that are dirty, we can put them straight into the dishwasher throughout the day and not have them sit in the sink all day and stink up our kitchen. <laughs> Ok 
Okay, so here you just saw me use the pink stuff. Um, it's like a cream cleanser type thing. And this is to keep my sink white. I actually like the paste a little bit more than the cleanser. I feel like it works easier without having to do a whole lot of scrubbing. And now I'm going back in with the Dawn Power Wash to clean the sink. This stuff smells so good and it works really, really good. Whether you're washing your sink out, you're washing your dishes, your stove top, I use it everywhere around my house. I swear, this stuff is like magic. I even use this on clothes as like a stain remover. Okay, now I'm gonna clean off my stove top really quick. You can see it's a mess. So I always start with vacuuming first if I have like a lot of crumbs like this or food that's just kind of been sitting here. I will use my vacuum first. And then I'm gonna use the Jaws Kitchen Cleaner. I'm using this first, but honestly, I feel like if you have some caked on food, it's kind of hard. You have to scrub a little bit harder with this. So after I got done with this, I went over it with the Dawn Power Wash, which I probably could have just started with that. It's just, you know, Dawn Power Wash can get expensive. So if you're using it all the time, then it's costly, but it is like one of the best cleaners. So I do get the refills from Sam's, which are awesome. I feel like that saves me a little bit of money. But the Jaws Cleaner, if it's not, if the stove isn't a huge mess, I would definitely say the Jaws Cleaner works fine. You just have to do a bit more scrubbing. So that's why I say the Dawn Power Wash kind of breaks up all of that food and grease and grime and stuff a lot easier without having to do as much scrubbing. And you can see it definitely bubbles up a lot easier, all of that. But the great thing about the Jaws Cleaners is that it has less chemicals in them and they're actually very affordable because you buy the pods and you just do the pod refills. So I use the same water bottle or spray bottle over and over again. I just refill it with the pods. So it does save some space, save some money, and there are a lot less chemicals. But look at that shine after I use the Dawn Power Wash. It looks so much better. <laughs> Now for my stainless steel, I'm gonna use the Sprayway Stainless Steel Cleaner. And if you're ever curious about my favorite cleaning products, I do have a link in my description box that will take you to all of my favorites. And then I'll also leave those links down in the comments too, because I know sometimes some of you have a hard time finding the description box, but I'll leave it in the comments and I'll pin it to the top. So it's the very first comment in case you are curious about my favorite cleaning products and tools and are looking for anything to try out. Now, as I'm editing this and I see the Christmas tree right there just sparkling and so pretty, I just think about how nice it is to have a clean house at Christmas because obviously we have a little bit more stuff out like taking up space like a Christmas tree and it's just so much more enjoyable when you have a clean space than all the clutter and everything. And honestly, I feel like my brain can function a little bit better when my house is not all cluttered and it's actually clean. So when I was cleaning this area, I took all of that stuff and put it on the other countertop and I sat my candle on top of a towel and it happened to slip off the counter, fall into the floor and break into a bazillion pieces. It was that Better Homes and Gardens candle. It smells so good. And I probably should have filmed it just to show you guys because it was real life. So I had to actually stop cleaning 
to clean up that mess because there was, I don't know, is it ceramic? Whatever it is that the candle is made out of. It was into a bazillion pieces everywhere. So luckily I had these house slippers on and I was able to walk around and clean up all the glass and everything and then get back to cleaning, which I kind of wish I would have shown that part, but honestly, I was so upset because the candle had broken and I was a little nervous walking around and trying to clean and stuff. So real life, real life happened behind the scenes and now you know about it. (laughs) Okay, let's move into the living room. Now that the kitchen is nice and clean, we're gonna clean up in here. As you can see, we have a bazillion throw blankets. I think almost all of these are actually actually from Walmart. These that I'm folding right here are my absolute favorite. They're the Barefoot Dreams dupes, and they're only like $19. So if you haven't gotten one of these yet, Definitely get yourself one for Christmas. These would be great Christmas gifts too. And then this other one, this brown one over here on the right couch is also from Walmart. It's like $25. It's probably the softest blanket I have ever touched in my entire life. And it's a dupe for the Pottery Barn blanket, which retails for $150. So this is another great throw blanket option if you're looking for one comes in several different colors as well, and I will link these all in my description box as well as in the comments. Now really quickly, I'm just vacuuming my furniture because we do have three cats. They're indoor, outdoor, so they come in every single day and they take naps all over the couches. They love that little chair, <laughs> so I'm constantly cleaning up cat hair. So. Um, they don't typically go in like my room or now some days I will come in and I'm like, where did they go? Ozzy, our little black cat loves to go in Gracie June's room and sleep on her bed. So sometimes I do have to go get her out of there. And then Riley likes to go underneath our bed sometimes. So if I don't know where she's at, I'll look under the bed and usually she's under my bed. And then the other one is Freddie, and she doesn't really like to come in too much. She's actually been coming in a little bit more lately, but if she comes in, she sleeps in one of the little kitchen um, in the breakfast area. She likes to sleep in those chairs, so (laughs) they all have their little spots. All right, so in my last video, I did some crafting, and so these boxes are from a ton of that stuff that I was working on that came in from Amazon, and so if you haven't seen that video yet, definitely go check it out. I shared some fun DIYs. I actually made the sweatshirt that I have on right now, and then I made a fun Christmas cup, and I made some fun stuff for Gracie June's cheer team, which all of those things that I made for her cheer cheer team could be like personalized for your own kids or friends or teachers or whatever. I just kind of showed you how I did it, and um, they would be really fun gift ideas. And here I'm just showing you, we have another broken ornament. If you didn't see, Kaysen broke my Um, Chick-fil-A ornament that I just got last year. (laughs) He accidentally broke it when we were decorating the tree and I feel like every single year we break at least one ornament. Well that ornament that I was just showing you was actually from when I was pregnant with Kaysen and it was given to me as a gift and um, the cats were playing with the bottom of the tree. I guess this one was on the bottom of the tree because it fell off and the little foot broke off, but also the string that attaches to it broke off. So I just put it in our bag for right now. I'm not going to worry about fixing the foot. I don't think anybody would even know (laughs) that the foot was missing, but I will put another string on it for next year because it was one of my all-time favorite ornaments. I just love those like personalized ornaments for each year. And 
that one was really special because Kaysen was my first baby. That was the first year I was pregnant. And so I love that ornament. Now, I just vacuumed those two, or actually three rugs, I guess, and look at all of that mess in my vacuum cleaner. I feel like, well, actually, this was also from the couches. I don't think I emptied it from the couches yet. So, if you're in the market for a really good cordless vacuum, this is by far the best cordless vacuum I've ever had in my life and it works so great so i'll link it for you i also have the tenco cordless vacuum which is a great vacuum as well it's not nearly as powerful but it works really good for just everyday cleaning and it's a lot more affordable than the dyson that i was just showing you and i love sharing different vacuums with you guys because i know you all have different price points and different needs so if you ever have questions, just let me know. Now this vacuum here is my newest vacuum and it is the Tenko Floor 1S5. It's the newest version of the Tenko wet dry vacuum. So I'm vacuuming and mopping my floors at the same time. This is the most high tech version that you could get. So it's definitely gonna be the most expensive of the Tenkos. But like I said, it's the newest version. Now, before I had this one, I used the iFloor 2, which is one of the earlier versions, and it works great too. Now, this one just has a little bit more technology to it, so it'll automatically adjust. Like if you have it in automatic mode, it'll automatically adjust to like a deeper clean if it finds, if it senses an area that needs a deeper clean that's a little bit more dirty. Um, you could do it on max mode. And then with the iFloor 2, it just has one mode, which is fine. So and it's a lot more affordable. So if you're in the market for a wet dry vacuum, maybe you've never had one before and you just don't understand all the hype, definitely look at the iFloor 2 because it's very affordable. They usually have a good deal, especially at Walmart. So I always like to link that one. But I definitely recommend a wet dry vacuum just because it takes me half the amount of time to do my floors. I don't have to go around and vacuum first and then mop. And it saves my back. Like it's just so much easier to mop the floors. And I feel like it does a really, really good job. Like you'll see the water at the end. Even when your floors look clean, the water is disgusting once you get finished. So I definitely recommend having a wet dry vacuum. And if I had to pick the, well, the only two vacu wet dry vacuums I've ever had are the Tenko iFloor 2 and the Tenko that I have now. Um, I did have I did have a Bissell, which is a corded vacuum, but I definitely recommend the cordless just because it's easier to get around the entire house if you're doing all the floors. So these two vacuums I highly recommend. If you're on a budget, go with the iFloor 2. If you're willing to spend a lot more money, then get this version. I love it. I don't really need new friends, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone who can play, though. Wanna hang with me? I'm not really looking for a friend, so spend your time with me. Looking for someone not afraid of. Give it all to me. Get next to me, get next to me. All that I want is to get next to me.
Okay, we are not done cleaning yet. I'm about to go into my bedroom and get started cleaning, and then I will head upstairs for a second day of cleaning. I wanted to show you what we've gotten done so far, and it's already looking so much better, and I feel like I'm about halfway done at this point. Now, usually I make my bed first thing in the morning, but I decided I would start in the kitchen today since that was the worst area. And since I was filming, sometimes I like to switch it up so you guys aren't always seeing me make my bed first. But we're gonna make up the bed, tidy up the room. I have lots of stuff all over the place. I have lots of laundry, like two loads, maybe three loads of laundry that I'm gonna fold really quick and put away. And then we will be on to a second day of cleaning and that'll be all the upstairs. Get next to me, get next to me. Get next to me, get next to me. Get next to me, get next to me. Get next to you, get next to you. Get next to me, get next to me. There's a little of a circle in the gold you see. What do you got to take a chance? Take a chance on me. It's magical when you are close. So don't hold it with me. What do you got to set the gold in the gold? There's a little of a circle in the gold you see. What do you got to take a chance? Take a chance. Okay, let me know if you can relate. I am really good about washing laundry, drying laundry, getting it out of the dryer, <laughs> but I'm not so good about folding it right away. So here we are with at least three loads of laundry and I'm gonna get it all folded at one time. The good thing about having a lot of laundry to fold at one time is that I can watch an entire show. Actually, I take that back. I don't think I watch an entire show because it really doesn't take me that long to fold the laundry, but usually I'll start a show while I'm folding, and then once I'm done, I will typically sit down and watch the rest of it and give myself a little break at that point. Um, so, I don't know if I did that this day. I can't remember, but I probably did. Lights out, hearts beating faster in a minute. I'm high on slow dancing with you. One, two, three, keep it going, last forever. All blacked out, then flying with you. I don't care that my mind's gone insane and my heart will burst into flames. No, I don't care about the heart. Okay, we have another room clean, and then it's about to be the next day. I did clean two days. I did the entire downstairs on day one, and then I did the entire upstairs on day two. And actually, I'm not really trying to lie to you guys. I didn't clean the bathrooms downstairs this day, but that was because they were already done the day before. I'd already cleaned them, and I did not film that. But today, we're starting in the kids' bathroom because, as you can see, it's gross in here. And really, Kaysen's the only one that uses this bathroom. Gracie June typically uses our bathroom, which I'm wondering how long that's going to last and when they're going to start fighting over using this this bathroom. <laughs>
Okay, so today I'm actually just using a microfiber cloth to clean out the bathtub, but typically I go around and use that shower scrubber. It's the electric shower scrubber, but ours is dead. We have this issue in our house because we don't, when we were building our house, we didn't think about a lot of stuff. So one of the biggest things is we don't have outlets other than the outlet that our laundry like our washing machine and dryer are hooked up to we don't have any outlets in our laundry room we don't have any outlets in our closet underneath the stairs which is where I keep most of my cleaning supplies and it would be perfect to have an outlet in there so that way we could charge our cleaning supplies like I could put my vacuum and all of my stuff in that closet if we had some outlets that they could be attached to but instead I have to keep them in my dining room because there's no outlets to charge them. So same problem with my electric scrubber for the shower. We don't have anywhere we can just store it and keep it charged so a lot of times I will tell myself okay I need to go charge this before I clean the bathrooms well I forgot so I had to use my microfiber cloth and my own arm and for scrubbing instead of my scrubber which was fine it's just you know the scrubber definitely you don't have to use as much arm power and it doesn't hurt your back as much Now we're gonna move into cleaning both of the kids' rooms. So it's Gracie June's room first. Since hers was the messiest, I wanted to knock this out, which is funny because I say how messy Kaysen is in the bathroom, but his room never gets messy. It's funny. The most you'll see is maybe some clothes on the floor or something, <laughs> but her room gets quite messy. She still likes to play with Legos. Um, she has toys all over the place. She loves to craft. So she made like all these paper dragon things. And so she just has stuff all over the place all the time. But I'm going to tidy it up for her and clean up in here. Tick tock, the clock keeps ticking. I don't know what I should do. And I wish you would be right here with me. Oh, I wanted to show you guys this headband I got for her off of Timu. I don't remember how much it was, but it was pretty inexpensive, and I thought it was so cute. And then this is all the stuff that I actually brought upstairs from um, the kitchen cleaning, and she just had a lot of stuff from the past weekend. We had her cheer showcase, so she got a lot of stuff from that. She has just a bunch of things that need to be organized and put away. Of when we used to dance, but now I don't know where you are. I miss you so bad, won't you come back to me? I've got you in my head, you're all that I see. I've lost all my chances, I know that I am too late. I'm thinking of you, I'm thinking of you, I'm thinking of you. Wondering if you're thinking about me too Now it's too late Now it's too late I'm out of time But I'm still thinking of you My heart keeps on bleeding I have scars, the ones that healing They're all there because of you It's my fault, I messed it you so bad won't you come back to me i've got you in my head you're all that i see i've lost all my chances i know that i am too late i'm thinking of you i'm thinking of you i'm thinking of you wondering if you're thinking about me too now it's too late
Okay, so here's Kaysen's room, and you can see, really, it's not bad at all. But like I said, he doesn't have a whole lot of stuff that he plays with or anything. Somehow, he always knocks his blanket off the bed or way at the bottom of the bed. Um, it's a sheet, actually, not his blanket. But <laughs> it's just so funny to me. Um, but are your kids like this, too? Like, completely night and day? And, and maybe it's just a girl-boy thing. Like, he just... He'd rather play with video games, and on, honestly, most of his toys are outside stuff. So, like, basketballs, baseballs, wiffle ball, like, that kind of stuff. But I guess with girls, they're a little bit different, and I don't know. They just have a lot more things. Tick-tock, the clock keeps ticking. Don't know what I should do. I wish you would be right here with me. I'm thinking of you Now the last room that we're gonna clean is the playroom and it honestly was not too bad. I cleaned this room last week, like really cleaned it because it was a disaster in here and it has stayed pretty clean. Obviously my kids don't know how to take down their popcorn bowls, but other than that, I think they've done a good job tidying up after themselves. So I'm just going to put the pillows back on the couch and vacuum in here. All right, you guys, so my entire house is clean. We won't talk about the office because I didn't show you that space, but it's definitely not clean. <laughs> and one day I'll get to it, but right now it's got tons of packages and things for Christmas, so I'm not even dealing with that right now. We'll just close that door. <laughs> But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're still here, leave me a sunshine emoji down in the comments. Let me know that you watched all the way through. And don't forget, I am doing monthly giveaways on my channel. I'm doing another PayPal cash giveaway since you guys said you loved that one so much last month. And all you have to do to enter the giveaway is be a subscriber, watch, like, and comment on all of my videos for the month of December. And I only post one video a week, so it's really not that hard to enter. All right, friends, I hope you're motivated and I hope you have the best week ever. And don't forget, I am posting on Sundays now. So I will see you in my next video next Sunday. Bye. To express yourself in your